So most of us know this by now, but there are tons of different keyboards you can choose on your Android phone. You can choose either the Samsung keyboard, Google keyboard, you can choose Microsoft Swift key. There's tons and tons of keyboards out there. But one thing I will always tell you is these two are some of my favorite ones, Gboard and the stock Samsung keyboard. And I want to kind of break down some of the main differences and probably which one you should go and buy. Now at their core, they do the same exact thing. As you can see, you can swipe type. They both look almost identical. But one thing and some of the key features that I love about Gboard for one is the fact that for one, it's a Google keyboard. So it works very nicely with all the other Google products. It's built right into stock Android. And I think it looks really nice. I think it looks better overall than the Samsung keyboard, but this one doesn't have as many crazy features as the Samsung one. So for one, if you go and click the X button, a lot more similarities here. So you have like dictation, you have the you know, settings button, you can see stickers, you can see GIFs right here, or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. And there's, a, like I said, there's a lot of cool stuff here for sure. You even have Google built straight into this keyboard. So if you click, I believe here, you can go and click the search button here and you can search for Google or search stickers here too, which is really cool, whatever you want to do. So there's a lot of cool stuff built within this keyboard. You also have stock emojis, which look really nice. Now, if I go and show you the Google emojis versus the Samsung ones, there's not like a big difference. They're kind of the same thing. So if you're looking straight from like an emoji perspective, you're not going to be really seeing big, massive differences. You can see that if I just go and show you these ones and these ones, I mean, very, very similar. Is it a massive difference? Not really. I mean, you're probably going to be getting the same exact thing. They're going to show up the same. So if you send an emoji like this on your Samsung or this one or this one, obviously they're going to show up whatever they show up on your phone. So it's not really a big difference there either, but you are getting pretty much the same exact styling emojis on both as well, which I think is really cool. Now, on top of that, another thing with Gboard before switching over to the Samsung keyboard is within settings. So there are, you know, a lot of settings built into Gboard as well. And I'll go ahead and boot up the settings within the Samsung keyboard as well. So if you look at both these side by side, you know, you have obviously the languages you can choose between. So you have languages, predictive text, which you pretty much have in the same thing. And there aren't like an unlimited amount of, you know, things you can go and kind of, you know, mess around with. But like I said, with the Samsung keyboard, you are getting some cooler features and it all comes down to like copying and pasting as well as, you know, this one right here, save screenshots to clipboard. That is a really cool feature. That way, if you go and take a screenshot, it'll go ahead and save it into your clipboard. Now, what is the clipboard? Well, it's essentially this little panel down here, which if you go and click here, it shows you things. It shows you things that you've copied and pasted. And that in and of itself is really awesome. So if I, you know, one ended up coming here, and if I went ahead and just copy this text right here, well, it would go ahead and pretty much if I, I don't even know how to copy text. If I just went high like this, and if I copy this text, it would show up on my clipboard, which would be really cool. And I can go ahead and maybe at a later day, if I forget to or whatever, I could go ahead and just open up my clipboard just like so. And look, it's going to be there. And I don't even remember when I copied that link. I don't even remember when I copied these things. And that is a really cool thing. Now on this one, you do have a clipboard right here. So you can go ahead and see, you know, save recent screenshots and, you know, clipboard, show items such as addresses, you know, show recently copy text and clipboard too. But I will say the way Samsung implemented it, I mean, they had it in their keyboard for a long period of time now. And that is one of my favorite things. I will say Samsung, I, I really like that feature and I'm glad Google put it here too. So if you click on clipboard, you can see right here, you have, you know, the things that you copied before you can turn it on and you do have the same type of thing too here, which is really cool. So I will say nowadays, there's a lot less differences than there used to be, which is kind of fun. Now on top of that, you can click the three dots here. You can go ahead and drag to customize on a Gboard. So you have themes you can choose from. You can have the one handed, you can do text editing, whatever that means. You can do translate and you can do your floating keyboard here too, which is really cool. Under themes though, you can go and change it whether you want, you know, the white keyboard, if you want another colored keyboard. And that's one thing I like about Gboard is you can go and customize it whichever way you want to. You even have these ones, which are like kind of the older ones. So now you can go and choose these and they do look really, really good. Like I mentioned before. Again, I think it looks great for the most part, and you do have a lot of customizabilities here too. So if you click on the three dots, you can go ahead and choose, you know, translate, Samsung Pass, Spotify, Bitmoji, emojis, you can go straight into YouTube right here. You can do search, you can do text editing here too. But one cool thing is you can go ahead and change the keyboard size of your Samsung keyboard. So if you go and click on keyboard size, you can go and make it bigger like this, or you can make it smaller like this. And that's another cool thing that you have. You know, I'm really happy Samsung. I mean, this keyboard has had this capability here for a while too. From what I see, I don't think Google gives us that type of capability. I think that would be really cool if they did. Unfortunately, they do not. So I think, again, that would be really cool if they gave us that capability. And I would say those are pretty much the main differences, you know? 
if I'm using like one phone over the other, I don't think I would be able to, you know, complain too much. I do like Gboard a lot. I do like the Samsung keyboard. I feel like they've gotten a lot more closer nowadays than they are different. But I think my favorite one might nowadays probably be the Gboard one. I feel like Google Keyboard, the fact that it gets updates over the app stores, the fact that it looks basically how, the same as almost all the other keyboards, you have a lot of capability here too. The Gboard is probably my favorite keyboard to be honest, but the Samsung keyboard is also very, very solid as well. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.